in um, second and third grade, we had these two teachers that were best friends. Cool. And um, so both years, mm -hmm. we did pumpkin pancakes the day before uh, Thanksgiving break. Wow. Like together as the classes. With their class? Yeah. That is so and, fun. Yeah, it was just fun. And so whenever I think of pumpkin pancakes, I always think of that. Because I remember thinking like, as a kid, like, these are the best pancakes I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I was a big fan. That is precious. My daughter said hi for the first time. Oh, what? I freaked out. Oh, so is that her first word? Yeah. Oh my god. It was so cute. <laughs> yeah. You have a priority straight. <laughs> just went to this little market that was down the street from my house in like the downtown area of my little town they had this street fair that was so adorable it was so much fun and so cute it's like a little crafters fair so they have a ton of just different vendors of homemade things and different farmers and basically like a farmer's market, but just a little bit bigger and kind of with a fall theme. And so I wanted to show you guys what I got. It was so much fun. My neighbor from across the street came over this morning and my roommate had the best idea to make these really good buckwheat pumpkin pancakes and they turned out so good. I had never used the recipe before and it was the first time that my roommate had made them and they turned out so good. She did an amazing job with them. And we had homemade apple butter and maple syrup and some toasted pecans to put on top with some sausage and it was so good and while we were eating it was so much fun my friend who I grew up with him and his wife happened to stop in and they knocked on my door right while we were eating and so we happened to have a bunch of pancakes left over and so they came in um, him and his wife and his little baby who is just a year old so stinking cute but they stopped in and had breakfast with us and got to chat with them and catch up and it was just so much fun. And so after that we ended up walking down to the street fair and met up with some more friends there and saw all of our neighbors and it was so much fun 
just seeing everyone that I knew. That's the beauty of a small town is you just see so many people that you know and love and you get to make so many new friends, especially having Oakley. Oakley is the best way to make new friends. She loves people and she did such a good job letting them pet her and it was so easy for her to make so many new friends and for me to make new friends by people wanting to come up and pet her and asking about her. It was just so much fun. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what I got while I was at the fair. I actually spent a lot of money, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like with something like this where they're handmade, they're small local businesses, they're small farms, it, the FFA kids were there and they're trying to raise money to go to the state championship and I want to support that. I want to be a part of that. I want to give my money to a cause like that. I just think that's so fun and so cool that they're taking their craft and selling it to their community. That's just so beautiful and so special. So I got these cut flowers. I felt like they were just such a pretty fall bouquet. There was like this whole huge stand that had so many beautiful flowers that were separated by each type of flower and you could just pick however many you wanted and it was just a dollar a stem and so I picked these. I'm not the most professional bouquet arranger but <laughs> I think it turned out really cute. I like the little maple leaves. I think those are so cute for celebrating fall and I liked the darker colors and these were really interesting. They're like fluffy. That was kind of cool. And it was so fun. It brought back so much memories for me because my mom used to sell cut flowers and sell bouquets when I was a kid. And so I would always go with her to the farmer's market. And that was like my favorite thing in the world to do. I loved going to the farmer's market with my mom. And she would allow me to play with the flowers and make little arrangements and if they sold then I got to keep the money and so it was good motivation. <laughs> so I got those flowers and I also got a cookie. There was a place that was uh, like paleo, gluten free, sort of. Actually pretty much all the bakeries that were there were like healthier bakeries. I thought was really cool and it was delicious. So good. It was like a chocolate chunk with sea salt on top and it was delicious. It was delicious. So I got that and then I also got this chocolate hazelnut butter. So it's like Nutella but healthier. Again, there's no sugar in this and the only ingredients are sprouted hazelnuts, cocoa powder, coconut sugar, ancient seabed salt and that's it so pretty bare but I like that I, I got to taste it and try a little sample and it was really yummy so I thought that would be really good on toast or oatmeal or I don't know really what else but I think it'll be delicious <laughs> and then I got this candle and it smells so good I thought this was so cute because the person who made this candle, I was I was talking to the booth owner and she was telling me that her son makes these candles and he's nine years old and he makes all the candles and makes all the scents and design the label and I don't know if you can focus there. But it's called Candle Kid and Candle with a K. Um but natural candles, I've been kind of trying to, like when I purchase new candles, I want, I like that there's more natural products and really anything that I'm buying, but I just thought that was so cool. What a cool thing that a nine year old kid is making his own candles and has his own business and he's making that money and like that's just so cool. I think that's amazing and such a cool thing to support. So, got that candle, and then I got this chapstick, his mom made this, and the ingredients in 
this chapstick are pretty good too. Um, the ingredients are Elipe butter. I definitely think I said that wrong, but <laughs> Elipe something like that butter. Um, mango butter, beeswax, oat oil, sunflower oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, and flavor oil, it says. Um, but it's Northwest Soaps is what, oh, Northwest Soap Works, excuse me. And then I got this basket. <gasps> I think it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting a basket like this for my whole life, <laughs> for really forever. But they're, they're expensive. It was $65, which is definitely expensive. But again, like for something like this, I'm going to use this for probably the rest of my life forever. And I'm going to use it for grocery shopping, being in the garden, um, beach days, lake days, stuff like that. It'll be a good quality thing that'll last forever. And I like that it's supporting a local woman that made this by hand. How cool. And the, the dyes are natural dyes. So that's amazing. She made her own dye and wove it herself. And I just think that that's really beautiful. So that's everything that I got. And I don't know. It was just a really good day. It was really fun to be with my community. And to meet so many new people. I actually got to meet a subscriber from, she she walked up and asked me if I had a YouTube channel and she just subscribed. So if you're watching, hello. I hope you know how special that was to me that you came up and said hi. It was really a treat. Um, so that was really cool to get to meet one of you guys and talk with you and chat with you and and just getting to meet so many new faces and seeing so many people that I knew. And it was just such a fun day of being with my community and being with my friends. And that's how community is supposed to feel. It didn't feel like pressure. It didn't, it didn't, it wasn't the type of socialization that overwhelms me or exhausts me or it just felt so good to have that community and have that connection. And I feel like the more that I get to know myself and the more that I feel settled in my own skin and know who I am in God, like the more stuff like that is just such a blessing and so much fun and pretty awesome. So for the rest of today, I wanna do a couple things around the house, um, kind of fall related. I think it would be fun to have kind of a fall day today and just celebrate the season. Today was the first day that I got to wear a sweater. It was cold enough to kind of bundle up and be in boots and be outside and it's still cool. It's like the middle of the day and it's still cool outside and there's a nice breeze. I think it's supposed to rain. So I think I want to do some stuff in the garden, kind of clean up the garden a little bit and harvest some of the herbs and dry them so that I have some of those that will be saved for the fall and winter. And yeah, I think it'll be a fun day.
so I'm in my backyard little garden and I want to do a little bit of gardening I have some things that are looking pretty dry and dead and if I'm being honest I don't know if it's just because they're like old and they've like run their course or if I just killed them <laughs> so I'm going to rip a couple of those things out and take off some of the dead leaves and dead vines and give them a little bit of water to drink bring in some of these tomatoes and then I also want to plant some of these carrots and lettuce because we're going into colder months again and carrots and lettuce do pretty good with colder weather. I planted lettuce in the springtime like well I guess it was technically still winter at the time um, for my winter garden I planted a bunch of lettuce a bunch of sugar peas snap peas all sorts of um, winter garden plants and so I'm planting them again because I loved having the lettuce and I'm excited to maybe get some carrots So I am cooking up some dinner right now. I'm making some pasta with einkorn pasta. It's made with einkorn flour and I'm just going to cook up some vegetables and buy some goat cheese and maybe have like a hard boiled egg or something with it like to get some protein. I just don't really want to have to wait to defrost meat and I didn't plan ahead. So um, I think I'm just going to do that. Kind of a simple, easy, maybe kind of a lemony sort of um, sauce with it. But the reason why I'm doing einkorn pasta is the idea behind einkorn wheat is that it is an ancient grain, which basically means that really old <laughs> and it is old enough to where it's not genetically modified it says on here that it's never been hybridized so that means that it is pure wheat so it doesn't have the GMOs and it's not genetically modified and changed a bunch so your body just responds a lot better to it and is able to process it a lot more. So we're going to see how it tastes. I've never tried einkorn flour or einkorn pasta. So we'll see how it tastes. So I'm taking all of the extra skins and the outside of my onions. I'm going to put in a Ziploc bag and freeze for when I make bone broth. Um, I want to make a big batch of bone broth and using the skins and the scraps from the vegetables is a really easy way to not let them go to waste and also give really good flavor and nutrition to my bone broth. So I'm getting some rosemary. Oh, excuse me. So I'm getting some rosemary from my backyard. Then I'm going to put in my little veggie einkorn pasta mix. And then I also have a bunch of herbs over here. I think I'm just going to do some thyme and oregano for my little pasta dish and rosemary. Oh, 
That's good. That's kind of delicious. Mm -hmm. I really like the einkorn flour. Or the einkorn noodles, I should say. They're really yummy. They're kind of delicious. They're definitely like a stiffer noodle. That's really the only difference that I can tell. But they're really good. And they also feel like they just have more substance, if that makes sense. Like, more dense if that makes sense but I, I really like that so anyways I think that's all for today's video I'm going to sit out here and eat my dinner and then I'm going to cozy up and watch TV or YouTube or play on my phone <laughs> because I think that's a good thing to do sometimes so I'm gonna do that tonight and I'm so thankful that you guys went along with me today on my cozy fall day today. I will see you in my next video. <laughs> oh, it's so wet out there. It's so stopping wet. <laughs>